Hey, Megan. So I wanted to thank you for asking this question um, because I know that I've fallen into this trap, and I'm sure others do too, where I, I get so wrapped up in my transition and kind of the bound, like the, the, the walls inside the inside my transition that I don't really spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, what what comes after that, you know, because I feel like, you know, this transition that I'm in the middle of now is going to be over, and even though I'll, I'll always be transgendered, I will no longer be transitioning. So I took a moment to kind of sit and think about about the question and where I've been and where I am and where I want to be or where I think I'll be and um, I wanted to share that with you all so um, 10 years ago uh, actually I need to say that this is um, an appropriate time for this question to come up for me because I just celebrated a birthday so I'm 27 as of a little while ago and so 10 years ago I was 17 in 1999 I was in 11th grade in, in high school in a, in a school in Seattle in a town called Shoreline and about this time of the year I was performing in a play, the school play. Um, my school did this play called Into the Woods which is about a bunch of fairy tale characters like Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood and oh what else you know Prince Charming and all these characters that inhabit the same world and their stories kind of intertwine and and affect each other and um, and there's a lot of singing and it's all very it's a really wonderful show Into the Woods if you don't know it and you like musicals you should look it up it's by Stephen Sondheim but I was playing Jack of Jack and the Beanstalk. So I had, you know, this little boyish outfit, except my I had two outfits. I had a first act outfit and a second act outfit. My first act outfit was like three three pieces I was wearing on top. I was wearing like uh, like a long sleeve shirt and then like a rolled up sleeve shirt with a collar and then like a little vest. And the funny thing is that we went out to we went out to uh, warm ups like physical warm ups one day, and I was only partially in costume, so I was only wearing the the first shirt underneath and this long sleeve shirt with kind of a low neck, and everyone everyone else in, on the cast was like, "Hey Sam, that looks really good on you. Like where's that where's that shirt from or where's that top from?" And so they looked at the label and it was from the Limited, which is a women's clothing store. And it dawned on me that for all the dress rehearsals and all this time, I'd been wearing a woman's a woman's shirt as part of my costume, and I didn't even realize it. And so I was like, "Isn't that just hilarious that people would give me compliments that I look good in in women's clothes?" So, um, but I had this song that I got to sing in the first act about climbing up the beanstalk and, um, you know, meeting giants and part of the song talks about meeting the the wife of the giant that chases Jack and like she grabs him and she she like gives him a hug and it's like ah oh, she pressed me up against her boobs and like <laughs> um i think the exact words are and and you know things now that you never knew before she she gives you food and she gives you um she gives you food and she gives you rest and she draws you close to her giant breast and you know things now that you never knew before and uh, I always loved that line in the song but anyway five years ago I was in the middle of my relationship and I think that this is about the time where I had just come out to my ex as having curiosity in my feminine side and so this this time five years ago was a pretty rocky time in my relationship and in my life um, and it ended up being kind of the beginning of a very depressing period that lasted a couple of years before 
I realized that I kind of had to transition to, you know, to be more comfortable with life. Um, and five years from now, I think that I will be still living in Europe, although I don't know if I'll be living in Copenhagen. I will probably be working for the same company because I really love where I work and I love the people that I work with. And why change that if I'm happy with it? Um, and I have opportunities to, to work in other places. We have kind of a distributed network of people and places. So if the opportunity arises to work somewhere else in Europe outside of Copenhagen, I would take it. Um, and in 10 years, in 10 years, so in 2019, in, by then I, I really hope that I'll kind of be raising, I'll be, I'll be having my own family. You know, I don't know where I'll live. I don't know what I'll be doing. Um, I'm sure that I will have completed my transition whatever that means, you know, if, if I'm, I'll, I'll have all my paperwork done, and I'll probably have decided kind of, you know, what surgeries I want to have, and we'll have had them already within, within 10 years, actually probably even, even within five years, so in five years I'll probably have any surgeries that I'm going to have done, done, and, but I don't think that I'll be settling down for a fa with a family or anything, um, I do want to raise my own children, at least one of my own children. I'm open to adopting, but I've, without going into too much detail, I've gone to great lengths to kind of ensure the fact that I would be able to have biological children of my own someday. So I hope that I'm raising a child within 10 years. Um, you know, I could be at the very beginning of my parenting life, but I think that by the time I'm 37, if I haven't gotten started, that I'll, I'll feel like something's missing again, you know, so, but maybe I'll have changed my mind, I mean, maybe I'll have changed my mind earlier and, you know, start a family sooner, um, but I, I made a deal with myself when I was 25 and I started my transition that I was going to give myself five years to kind of figure things out and I didn't know how far I would go in five years and I didn't know what I would learn or where I ended up but I kind of predicted that by the time I was 30 I would be done with my transition and now that I'm 27 I'm not sure if I'll make it because there's still a lot to do in, in three years but um, I think it's a good goal to work toward. And I think it's really important to have goals. So I think that about wraps up my thoughts on you know, where I've been and where I want to be for now. I'm sure I'm going to remember or think of something as soon as I quit this video that just be like, oh, I should have added that. Nice. But I think that's a good start. So if I think of anything else later, I'll share that in a different video. But thank you again for asking, and I think it's really good for people to kind of think about, you know, what happens after my transition? How long is it going to last? What am I going to do when it's done? You know, what, how many things in my life is it going to affect? So, you know, I would encourage people to just kind of think it over. And if you have thoughts, please share them. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, okay?